Okay, so how do I paint the high parts of a ceiling? Well, it's not too difficult if you have the right pole. So this is a six foot pole that uh, can be extended up to a 12 footer. And even with these very high sections of the ceiling, it, uh, it reaches everything that I need it to reach. And believe it or not, I bought this painting pole at a garage sale for $2 about 10 years ago. And uh, it's been awesome. So, so this is just the first coat of the white uh, ceiling flat paint. Just using a 10 millimeter thick roller sleeve. Then with the corners, I already did this one, but I can show you. It just will, uh, I can just go tight right to the corner. And then I will have to use a brush just up in, in that corner up at the top. But I just have a little bit more to finish and then, uh, and then I'm done for the day. So that just gives you a, an idea of what you need if you have some high ceilings that you want to paint. So this is, like I said, the six footer that extends to the 12 foot. When it's fully extended, it's a little bit tricky to control, but it's really not too bad. You don't want to press too hard, just nice and even. Distribute the paint on the ceiling. It's nice when the lights aren't in. Don't have to worry about going around lights. This was just a renovated room. Just have that little strip to do yet. So yeah, just one more time in the tray. There, I'll let this dry and then I'll be able to get my second coat on. And then for the, the walls, I'll use the scaffolding or my ladder to do the cutting up to the white ceiling. But uh, yeah, that's one coat. So the ultra flat white, it'll dry really nice. That's the best to use for ceilings. Um, Benjamin Moore or Seco is what I would suggest. But uh, yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks.